Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Uh, today I'm going to make a Dutch apple pie from a Sainsbury's magazine recipe, though I'm varying it slightly. So uh, it's not a difficult recipe, but it takes a bit of time because there are three distinct stages to it in the ingredients. There's the pastry, the crumble, and then the apples. And you have to make the pastry, make the crumble, and assemble everything. Then you have to bake it, and uh, it bakes for quite a while. Sainsbury says one hour, 20 minutes. I'm actually probably going to bake mine for longer than that. I want to ensure that the base of the pastry is cooked all the way through. So, uh, I go on to the ingredients. And for the pastry base, I have uh, 270 grams, which is one and two thirds cups plus three tablespoons of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 170 grams, 12 tablespoons of cold unsalted butter, which I've cut into cubes, 50 grams, a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, three grams, half a teaspoon of salt, and 45 milliliters three tablespoons of cold water. I may not need all of that water. And for the crumble, I have 100 grams, two thirds of a cup of plain flour, again, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup, 100 grams of um, light brown sugar, which is half a cup. I have 75 grams, five tablespoons plus one teaspoons of cold unsalted butter, 30 grams, about a quarter of a cup of uh, chopped hazelnuts. So these are hazelnuts which have been roasted slightly and then chopped into uh, small pieces, and uh, half a teaspoon of salt, again, three grams. Then for the apples, I have 650 grams, which is 23 ounces of sliced apples. All the recipes I looked at said this number of apples or that number of apples. Um, but for my uh, mind, that doesn't work at all. You need to know um, how much apple will fill your pan. And I actually sliced this, this amount of apples, 650 grams, and put it into my pie dish to make sure that it would fill. So it will actually overfill the pie dish now because the pastry will go in, but uh, that's good enough for me. And what I've done with those is I've uh, poured into that the juice of one lemon, which I have then um, tossed the apples in to stop them from browning before I need them. If there's excess juice, I will drain that off um, a little bit later on. And then I have uh, 100 grams, half a cup of light brown sugar, um, two grams, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of freshly grated nutmeg, and 16 grams, two tablespoons of corn flour. So that's all the ingredients. And the first thing we need to do is to make our pastry. And to make the pastry, I'm going to do this in a uh, a small food processor and I'm going to put the flour in and then add the sugar as well and the salt. I'm just going to pulse those briefly And that's just to get those combined. And then I'm going to add into that my cold butter. And I'm going to pulse it again until that breaks down into a sort of coarse breadcrumb-like texture. I 
and that's good enough. So then I'm going to add in about half of my water and I'm going to process it and I'll add in more water if I need it until the mixture starts to clump together into a dough. And that's good enough like that. So I'm going to take that out and put it onto some plastic wrap. That's a nice soft dough and I'm going to form that into a disc and I'm going to then chill that in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so just so that it firms up a little bit and with that in the fridge I'm going to go on to make our crumble because I want to chill that as well and again I'm going to do that in my processor bowl so I put the flour in and the sugar and the salt And again, I'll give those a little pulse to get those mixed through. And then I put the cold butter in. And I'm going to process it again until it's uh, quite coarse. And I think that looks quite coarse, so I'm going to put that into a bowl. And I can use the bowl that the flour was in. And then I'm going to add in my nuts and I'm just going to use my hand to mix the nuts into that and I'm going to put that into the fridge um, and uh, chill that as well so I'll leave the uh, dough to chill, the pastry dough, and uh, the crumble mixture to chill. And so when it has chilled, I'll come back and we'll roll out the pastry uh, large enough to fit a nine inch, 23 centimeter pie dish. We'll put it in the pie dish, um, and then I'm going to chill it again before I add the apple. So I'll come back when I'm ready to roll it out. So I've chilled my pastry for a while. I'm now going to roll it out to line my pie dish and I've lightly floured my work surface And that's good enough, so I'm going to try to roll that up onto my rolling pin. And I'm going to drop that into the pie dish and um, if it breaks, it doesn't matter because I can patch it, but hopefully it won't break.
And I'm just going to tear a piece off here and patch that in because I want to make sure there's an overhang all the way round. And then I'm going to tuck that overhang in. And that's going to make a, a slightly thicker rim. So if I tuck that in like that, all the way around. And that's good enough. And then I'm going to take two fingers like that and one finger like that and I'm going to push that in like that to make a rim around the edge. Just like that. And then I'm going to put that back into the fridge and I'm going to chill it for at least an hour until it is quite firm because then we're going to put the apples in. So once it's quite firm I will have my oven preheating to um, 180 degrees Celsius, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit and I'll come back, we'll mix the apples for the filling with the spices and the corn flour and uh, put those into the uh, pie crust and put the crumble on top and bake it. So with my oven preheating and my pastry chilling I'm going to put my brown sugar into a larger bowl I'm just going to make sure any clumps are broken up because brown sugar tends to clump. Like that. And then I'm going to add in my corn flour. and my cinnamon and that little pinch of nutmeg and I'm going to mix that around Just like that. And then I'm going to put that into my apples and I'm going to toss the apples to get them coated. Just like that. So then they can go into my pastry, which is now quite firm. So I'm going to put those in and spread them over. Just like that. And then I'm going to pour in The excess juice because that's got corn flour and sugar in it. And the corn flour will absorb juices as they're released from the apple, I hope. And then I'm going to sprinkle over my crumble mixture. Just like that. I'm just going to pat that a little bit. 
and I'm going to stand that on a baking tray. And the reason for that is that if any juices bubble up and bubble over, the baking tray will catch them, they won't burn onto the bottom of the oven. So I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for about an hour and 30 minutes um, until the apples feel tender um, and everything is browned nicely. If the top seems to be browning too quickly, um, towards the end I will cover it lightly with some aluminium foil uh, to stop the browning process. But I want to make sure that the, uh, the pastry crust is fully baked through. So I'll um, check it after an hour and a half and if, if I think it's done I'll take it out. Then I'm going to leave it to cool uh, for at least an hour and then it would be ready to serve if you want to serve it warm. But I'm actually probably going to leave mine until it's completely cold before I serve it. But I'll come back and show you that when I'm ready to. I baked my Dutch apple pie for an hour and 30 minutes. It browned nicely on the top. Um, so I took it out of the oven and I put it onto a rack um, in the, the pan and I left it for two hours and then I put it in the fridge for a further hour and a half, so three and a half hours, before I cut a slice. Now you can eat it warm, um, but it, it retains the shape of the slice better if it's cold, but you can eat it warm if you want. You can serve it with ice cream and things like that. But I'm going to sh uh, show it to you just as it is, and I'm going to taste it like that too. So this is what it looks like. It baked up very nicely indeed, um, and I can see that the crust is fully cooked, which is what I was um, wanting to make sure of. So I'll have a taste of um, a slice. Mm. That is very, very good. Um, lovely soft apple with a cinnamon and slight hint of nutmeg and a very buttery pastry and the lovely crunchy crumble on the top as well. Uh, perfect dessert, whether it's served with cream, with custard, with ice cream, whatever you want. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.